Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create 3D picture cube in PowerPoint 2013. The 3D picture cube you will learn to create today looks like this. Isn't this beautiful? It's very easy to create this 3D picture cube and I'll show you how to do it from scratch. But before that, the first requirement for creating this picture cube effect is three pictures which are all in square shape. Now, how do you crop a picture into a square? It's very simple. Let us take the sample picture here. You can see that the dimensions are that of a rectangle. Now, all that we need to do is to select the picture, go to the Format tab in PowerPoint ribbon, go to the Crop option here, and click on the small arrow under the Crop icon, and that will open up this drop-down menu. Go to aspect ratio and here you see the aspect ratio for square which is 1 is to 1, length is to width is 1 is to 1. So I'm going to select that and as soon as I did that you can see that the picture is now cropped into a square of 1 is to 1 proportion. So that is how you crop a rectangular picture into a square and I followed exactly the same process to get these three square pictures. Now with this done, the next step is to arrange them in such a way that they form a 3D picture cube. To do this, first we need to right click on any of the pictures and go to format picture option. And here you go to the effects option and that will give these options here in the pane. Go to 3D rotation option. Now we are going to use three presets to create our picture cube. I am going to select the first picture here and we are going to apply one of the 3D rotation presets. The preset I am going to use is under parallel and it is this preset called as off axis one left. As soon as I click on that you can see that the picture automatically becomes uh, oriented in that off axis one left preset. Then let us take the second picture. Now the 3D rotation preset I am going to apply is the one right next to that. It is called as off axis one right. Now this is beautiful. We are going to keep this in such a way that the left edge of uh, this new picture touches the right edge of the previous one. And as you can see here, it snugly fits in in the cube like position. Now the final one is this picture. The 3D rotation preset we are going to apply to this is the one onto the right of this one. It is called as off axis one top. So all we did is we took three pictures. For one, we applied off axis one left, another one off axis one right, and the third one off axis one top. That is as much we are going to do. Now that when we ch chose that 3D rotation preset, this is how the effect turns out to be. And we need to keep this right on top of the other two pictures. And once you do that, you can see that the picture effect completes. Now, if you want the picture cube to look a little more realistic, then all you need to do is to select all three pictures, press Ctrl G to group them, and then go to 3D format option and apply the top bevel. So click on the top bevel presets here and choose the first one called as circle. And as soon as I did that, you can see that there is a beautiful rounded curved bevel that happens uh, to the pictures and that makes this cube effect look far more realistic. Now all that is left for us to complete this picture cube effect is to have a shadow underneath the cube. So I'm going to go here, pick up the shadow and I'm going to paste it, right click, send to back and I'm going to paste it right underneath the cube. I can always make the adjustments and that is it. Now we have a beautiful 3D picture cube ready. Isn't this super easy to create? Try the effect with three pictures of your choice and tell me how it turned out. I hope you really liked the tutorial you saw in this video. If you did, then you will really love our 25 Creative Ideas email course. You will get daily email lessons for 5 days with tips and techniques in PowerPoint you can implement readily. You will be able to access videos, downloads and examples to learn easily and thoroughly. 
So click on this red button here and start your free course now and I'll see you inside the email course.